welcome back to the Davis Manor. I'm Brittany and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of decorating. Um, I'm just going to grab a couple things down from my storage and um, mostly just hanging up some pictures, um, just slowly pulling things out of storage. It's it's so overwhelming, <laughs> but um, I figured I would record it and take you guys along with me. Um, there is a little bit of trivia. <laughs> if you're into trivia, stay tuned. Um, I do have a question that I wanted to ask everyone. So if you're interested in watching me put up a couple decorations, mainly just some pictures here and there, but I'm kind of going around walking and talking myself through of what I'm thinking and what I'm doing, um, where the, the color schemes are matching and where like the certain themes are gonna be best for me to put these decorations. So if you're interested in that type of inspiration, please stay tuned. All right, first things first, this pillow, I thought we'd go here because it kind of fits the witch theme. I also need to find all my random pictures that I need to go there. But anyway, this goes on here. Um, I don't really know because both of these say fortune. Do I want to keep them both there? Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt, right? For now, I guess. I'm not loving it, but I'm just a little bit spontaneous. So I'm going to keep it here for now because it all kind of matches. I wish this one was square because then the cat would be in the middle and there would be a square cat square. But now it's square rectangle cat. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll just leave it here for now. Hi. What you doing? Next, I have this pillow. And I've never done this before. But I really like the shape of this. I think I might put it in my dining room. At least for now because I don't really have any more space in my living room I have so many throw pillows it's not even funny okay next I have this super cute Ouija board tray and last year I just had it sitting here um, and I put like my husband's controller I'll put the remote to the TV and sometimes I put coasters, I think, but I'm just gonna leave the coasters where they are. I got two of them there. And then I have two of them here. That's not, a, that's just part of the table. This needs to be cleaned. But anyway, you get the gist of it. <laughs> Oh my God, you're so cute. Next, I have this enter if you dare sign. I feel like it really matches the aesthetic in my dining room, except that clown that doesn't really belong there. I just don't know where to put it yet. But um, I feel like the aesthetic in here, ooh, I wonder if it would look good up above that I have a sign that I'm going to hang here but I wonder if this will look good how do you keep following me I need that video or that sound <laughs> I always get you staring <laughs> that might go there I don't know I kind of hate how this one is much smaller than this one and then this will really get that off balance so, it does kind of match the aesthetic of this. Different color, but the wood is the same. I kind of like that. Okay. <laughs> I can't find my hammer, so the, I'm using this giant thing. 
Um, and I can't find my nails, so I'm using some random nails I found. But it's okay, because it'll work, because I'm spontaneous like that. And um, it'll be fine. So the real question now, I guess I should center it to the picture. So what you can't see in the frame here is that there's an air vent above the picture that's kind of off-centered anyway. So when I was saying that I want to off-center it or center it next to the picture, I was also debating the air vent. <laughs> And I don't hang things like perfectly, so don't come for me on that either. I just, it's always been the eyeball it type. Sure, I'll just eyeball that and that'll be fine. Enter if you dare. Okay, so I brought down a couple more things I need to hang up. First of all is this super cute sign from Big Lots. It was $10, but I know I probably got it on sale, so let's find a spot for this one. So I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this would be super cute up above this mirror, which is also like gold and black. That might be it. <laughs> Unless I put it like up there. I don't know, I feel like it would look great. Ooh, or up here. Although this is more so of like a gallery wall, like a portrait wall. And I'm looking to buy more this year, so I probably should save the space. Actually, it might, it might look better above the doorway. Cause then I can add more gallery wall, like portraits right here. Let's put it up there for now. Am I tall enough? <laughs> Did I lose my hammer again? <laughs> Why? Why do I do this? Oh, there it is. Can I even reach up there? I guess I'll get a chair. Ugh. If you know me, you know I got bad knees. <laughs> Getting on chairs is very dangerous, especially when my husband's already sleeping. Oh, see? Oh, it's so hard. I don't even know if I can get up on this dang thing. I want to tip forward. Where's my ladder? Ugh. All right, let's just see. Oh, God. Okay. I did it. <laughs> I did it and it hurt. <laughs> already know guys it's Halloween all right <laughs> next I guess I have a couple signs this one was $7.99 at Ross it's purple and black happy Halloween I think this one would look really cute in the aesthetic of my witch's lair or I could put it in the living room or my hallway which my hallway is gonna be a little weird because um, if you saw my last video, I did mostly Pennywise down the hallway. So there's really not a whole lot of options of what I can do right in that immediate area. And I might move that to the bottom of my stairs later, not right now, but this might go in the hallway if I can find a spot. Because I have another hallway right here that, that might actually look really, really cute. Then I have this orange one. This one's kind of old. It's a little raggedy, sort of. 
I mean, it's flimsy, it's fading, but I just love it still. Um, I don't know where it's from. It feels too sturdy to be from like Dollar Tree, although it's kind of giving me that vibe. So maybe like Dollar General, don't quote me, but maybe it's just a black and orange sign that says welcome. And I, I really think this would be super cute in a wreath and that might be where its final resting spot is going to be. Maybe this year I'll put it into a wreath, but for now let's find a place for it. Okay, so obviously I had something hanging right here last year and right there, but I feel like if I hang it there, there's gonna be three hanging things like this right in a row. And I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like that. That's way, it loses too much of a gap. So I think I'm gonna do it over here wish I could get it up there. That might be where it's gonna go, <laughs> but I don't have my ladder right now. So I'm gonna have to wait, but for now, oh God. For now, let's put it right here. And plus it kind of hides this cord. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> You want to say hi to the people? Say hi. You're so sweet. <laughs> a sign might be that looks really cute. First off, we're in my guest bathroom right now. Do not judge. <laughs> I have brass um, fixtures that I have not swapped out yet. And my light switch is something of a horror story. <laughs> Not in a good way. No one knows how to swap out a light fixture. Mine, <laughs> I'm in desperate need. Just tag me in some DIY. <laughs> First off, this side of the light does not work. So it's just that one. And then the thing, the little thing broke. So <laughs> it's just one light and it's uneven and it's driving me crazy. But anyway, let's find a spot for this. Oh my dirty mirror too. Just giving myself more chores. <laughs> You're welcome to use the toilet. <laughs> anyway, the bathroom, it's hard to tell. And we did it ourselves, so don't don't judge all that. This place is full of wallpaper. So, but anyway, it's hard to tell in photo because this is actually really purple. It looks gray. It looks like a really pretty dark purpley gray on video but it's actually like really really purple so but anyway with the orange it looks kind of cute the orange and the purple and this is just everything <laughs> i gotta do something so have you guys ever seen this it was from cracker barrel last year and it just cracks me up we usually keep it off because it will get on my nerves but um sometimes we'll randomly turn it on and just scare each other when we go to the bathroom i'll show you Enough of that. Look how stinking cute this little, I guess it's a candle holder. That's what I use it for. But it puts the prettiest glow on the wall. I'll show you. I'll show you right here. Look how cute. And speaking of like a super cute glow, I have to show you my other candle holder. I get so distracted when I do Halloween decorations because I'm like oh my gosh I have to show you this other thing <laughs> so hold on candle holder is from home goods I believe I think they were both from home goods actually hold on yeah this one's from home goods I have to show you the cute glow that it gives off though look it it's freaking bats I love Halloween <laughs> Look how stinking cute they are on the wall. I was so freaking excited when I saw this. So I was like, yeah, it's probably gonna like put some sort of glow on the wall, but the bats look like they're flying. Look it. Stop. Anyway, this one's like my favorite and it has a 
um, like an orchard sky candle in it or something. Like I just got it from Bath and Body Works and um, it was like a spring scent, but it smells like fall. So this whole thing is just, oh my God, I just love it. Okay, next I have this from Ross. You won't believe how much I paid for this. It's real, like, I mean, I guess it's real wood. It feels heavy duty, like wood. Um, it says Wicked. It's got some glitter, which I'm not a huge fan of glitter, but I do like it sometimes, especially like the green one for some reason. So cute. I'm not a huge fan of this type of ribbon. It's like zebra print, but it is black and white. I paid $3.49 for this. I mean, it's a decent size. I'm stunned. Um, that was on clearance, so let's see what it normally was. Oh, well, I guess we'll never know. Oh, originally $7, so it was half off. So $7 still isn't even a bad deal, I don't think. For something like this, I'd easily pay probably Probably no more than $10, but I mean, what did I say this one was? Oh, I already ripped it off. I don't even know if I said, hold on. Yeah, this from Michaels, $21.99. I did not pay that, of course, I wouldn't. But this was only $3.50, get out of here. Of course I bought it. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. We'll find a spot for that. This sign I made at a paint with me, um, or paint, sip and paint or something. Um, she had a bunch of really cute Halloween designs to choose from, but I made this one a special request. It's Billy Butcherson, which I messed up because I'm no professional messed his mouth up but you can barely tell right it says wench trollop you buck tooth mop riding firefly from hell <laughs> i've waited centuries to say that <laughs> but anyway um one of my favorite quotes from hocus pocus it for some reason it's just it just cracks me up i don't know why um that whole scene really is just i just love it um my favorite quote I showed in my last video is the, Max likes your yabos. In fact, he loves them. <laughs> if you can't tell, Hocus Pocus is my favorite movie ever. I could quote the whole thing. A trivia almost every year. We won first place once um, and we've gotten second and third a couple times. And it's, you know, the trivia. Have you guys ever been to trivia? Let me know that in the comments because I feel like the Hocus Pocus trivia does it really separate the men from the boys? It's usually like, you know, it's like, what's the cat's name? <laughs> you know, it's like, if you've seen the movie, you know. So I would like to do a more um, in-depth, like the best of the best Hocus Pocus trivia and not the type that's like, what other movies did Thora Birch play in? Because I'm not going to know that. You're lucky I know who Thora Birch is. <laughs> I'm not good with names of actors and actresses. I'm not good with movies unless it's, unless it's Hocus Pocus or like a horror movie. But although I probably wouldn't even be able to tell you the actors' names in those either. It's just who I am as a person. I don't know that. Um, but let me know in the comments. Have you been to a Hocus Pocus trivia? And were they questions like that? The one I just told you, like what's the cat's name? Or were they actually really challenging that, or were they actually really challenging where you were like, hmm, that one I'm not too sure about. There was one Hocus Pocus trivia that I went to and one of the questions was when the sisters get off the bus and you can see all three of their brooms, which one has a weird broom? I'm like, they're, all their brooms are weird. So I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I'm like, they're all weird because they're all different. Like, I don't know which one, which one is the weird one. Let me know your answer. Okay. Here's what I need from you in the comments. Number one, have you been to Hocus Pocus Trivia? If so, was it easy or was it challenging? 
Number two, what is your answer to that question? I'll put that in the next video. So which broom is weird? Or who, which sister has a weird broom when they get off the bus? Let me know. I found this out and I went back and looked and like, I can see why, why it would be considered weird, but I feel like all three are weird. Not two of them match. So I just thought like, which one would be the oddball out, but like none of them match. But anyway, that's not it. Which one's weird? That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, let's find a spot for this as well. And these two, I might hold off on hanging them up, but I want to show them to you now. First off, oh God. This one was probably my first painting that I've done for Halloween, like ever. Um, this was, I did not, actually I know this is my first one because I did not sign it or date it. So this was probably back in like 2015 I painted this, maybe, maybe 2014. Um, and it just says, which way to the candy? I really messed it up trying to put like a gray, like shiny gray in the background. And now it just looks like, it just looks like it's dirty. Like, like I need, it's full, full of filth. <laughs> but anyway, I don't hate it. And I kind of like, you know, it's just kind of cutesy. And I really killed it with these candy corns. If you can't tell by hand, I don't know what I did, but I did it. <laughs> I have a section by my front door that I hang a bunch of brooms and um, I have this one and I have another sign that I put over there. One of them, this one says free broom rides and then I have another one that says um, broom parking. So I kind of just have them both right next to each other and then I have like a stack of brooms on the wall. But that'll probably be for a different video because I don't even know where my brooms are. So I'm gonna have to find them. But anyway, let's find some spots for my Billy Butcherson and my Wicked sign. So if I remember correctly, I think I had this hanging right here, but I can't be too sure. Maybe it was over here. Yeah, I think this was it actually. Yep, that's it. That's it. It just kind of fills that void right there. I have to find what I had here and here. And then I think, like I said, I might end up hanging that one right up there. But anyway, that turned out pretty cute right there. Chislayer is coming along slowly but surely. Oh, so Right here is where I'll hang the broom parking. I have brooms that like go all the way up to there. And then I'll have like the free broom rides and then, or uh, I'll have like broom parking or something right here. And then I usually put like the broom rides right here in this spot right here. So my little broom station and going to Salem for the first time this year and we booked um, a reservation to make our own brooms. I'm so excited. I already know where I'm going to decorate it <laughs> or where I'm going to hang it up to decorate. So I'm so excited. But anyway, I usually hang my Billy Butcherson right here. D2. So it's a joke. Um, my husband always uses that as like his nickname. He, oh God. Or he used to. <laughs> Sorry, scared you. <laughs> scared me too. Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh my god. Mass chaos here, y'all. Mass chaos. <laughs> I guess this probably goes up here. Yeah, there we go. I dropped the Halloween part. There we go. <laughs> Y'all came for the wild ride today. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh my gosh. I need like 17 hands. Why? Why? Okay. That's not how that was. I know that wasn't like that. Hold on. I like tied the knot really weird. So anyway, got my Billy Butcherson and my countdown. Oh my gosh. That's a lie. Hold on. There we go. I was four days off. <laughs> 
165 days until Halloween. That is today. I don't even know the date. So like I've mentioned, I'm so unorganized. I have no idea what day it is, but I do know it is 165 days until Halloween. So you do the math. That's how I'm going to start keeping track of my date. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't know the dates. May something, but I know it's 165 days until Halloween. Okay, so the last thing that I brought down from my storage is this guy, which I already have one, and I'll show you. Okay, so I already have this little setup by my bay window. I have my little... Oh, sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Um, he's barking at probably like a raccoon. There's been a raccoon that's been hanging out in our backyard. But anyway, um, so I have one more. I don't know if I want to set him down here somewhere. Like if I do, let's, let's try this. I haven't taken the tags off of this one yet, but maybe if I do like one on each end. And then, yeah, that's kind of cute. That saves me some room here in the middle. Now let's try and figure out what I can put here in the middle. Go ahead and put the candle on the platter. Let's light it and see how it looks. Okay, that looks pretty cute. Oh, my shadow is everywhere. Yeah, I like that. And then um, whenever it gets closer, I'll have batteries in these too. Um, the batteries just die so fast. If you're wondering like why I keep all my candles in little, like, little candle enclosure things, it's because this dude. Yeah. Always trying to get your tail caught on fire. It's not funny. It's not cute. I don't know why you do it. <laughs> you're so adorable. <laughs> you like that? Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. That's gonna be it for today. Ow, his claws are so sharp. Did you enjoy having everybody watch us today? Did you enjoy the spotlight? You're so sweet. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. Oh my God, he's always licking my earlobe. It's kind of weird, but it's also kind of cute at the same time, like he thinks I'm his mom or something. Look at him. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. Be sure to leave a comment letting me know about the Hocus Pocus trivia and what your answer is to which broom was different or weird. And that'll be it for today, and I'll see you guys next time.